Medicine in itself was always intriguing to me. You know, cardiology, you know, respiratory stuff, exercise physiology. I was just really enthralled with that. And if I could combine that with my love for animals and horses, to me it's just, it was just a perfect marriage. It takes a special kind of person to work on horses, to understand horses, to be able to read horses, be comfortable around them and give them the confidence that you're not going to hurt them. It took about 10 years to put this plan together. And then it took about four or five years to find a piece of property where I could put it together. And then we finally put it together. I sat down with my partner, we designed what we had to have and things that we wanted to have, and then just made sure that everything we put in here was going to be to the best benefit of the horse, which in turn benefits the owner. Ultimately, we're in the person-pleasing business, and they happen to own horses, you know, which is my passion, to take care of horses but make people happy at the same time. So all of our employees have to have that same philosophy, that they come here, they love to work, they love to work with people, and they have to be motivated in their own, basically self-motivated to do more, do better. When we designed the place, we knew we wanted to be able to provide as many diagnostic capabilities as we could, but at the same time, we want to be environmentally friendly and look towards the future. So the first thing is we went to digital technology. So we're paperless, we do digital x-rays, digital ultrasounds, and then we're able to put in a magnetic resonance imaging or an MRI machine. And the machine we put in allows horses to stand. So we don't have to put them under general anesthesia, which creates a lot of risks for the horse. But we're able to walk a horse into the machine under sedation, they get their images, then they walk out of the machine, get their treatment, then they can go home. Typically when a horse arrives, uh, they're checked in by the front desk and a technician greets them um, at the trailer and helps the client unload their horse. They also kind of get a feel for the horse. Is it a nervous horse? Is it a sick horse? Typically the technician will then take the horse from the owner. We'll walk it up to the back door where we will go ahead and, and then either examine the horse. Sometimes they come right in. Our diagnostic lab is a 24 hour, seven days a week, 365 days a year lab. We can run basic blood work, advanced blood work. We can do electrolytes, blood gases. We can look for tick-borne diseases, um, intestinal parasites and fecal egg counts, urinalysis, cultures and sensitivities, and all of this can be done within 15 minutes. We have four ambulatory trucks. There are, there's at least two or three on the road every day where we can basically do anything we need to at your farm. So preventative care, which is vaccines, basic blood work, um, dentistries, just uh, general health exams. There are a lot of uh, human functional MRI studies that are being done now that actually show different types of brain activity with stimulation of certain acupuncture points. It's been a great complement to our practice because there are a lot of things that, for inexplicable reasons in terms of what the horse's body tells me, his pulse, his tongue color, the points that he or she is reactive at, and then their response to treatment. Is, um, is pretty amazing. When a horse comes in for anesthesia here, if it's gonna go under general anesthesia, we walk him into one of our two fully padded induction recovery rooms. When the horse walks into this room, they're already pre-sedated. They are then um, attended by two to four people, depending on the size of the horse, at their head and at their tail, where they're held against the wall and they receive their induction medication, which anesthetizes them. They then slide down the wall in a fully padded room. They then uh, moved from the induction room into the surgical suite to the use of a hoist where they're placed onto the table. On the surgery table then rolls to whatever position we need it to be. We perform the surgery and then we basically reverse everything. The laser can be employed to do uh, numerous things as far as topical uh, tumor removals or tumor treatments. We use it to minimize bleeding when we use it say for things like castration or um, for any kind of surgery, it actually seals nerve endings and blood vessels as it cuts. So there's a lot less post-operative swelling and pain and it allows the horse to recover a little bit faster. People see the facility and what, it, what we can offer. They all, they, they, they're concerned that this is gonna be expensive when actually line item for line item, we're really no more expensive than anybody out there. This clinic was really um, put here um, to provide the local horse uh, population with things that they need. So we can provide all the things that were happening in the past, plus we can go up one more step 
and we, we brought it closer to them. So now they no longer need that two to three hour ride to a referral facility out of state or at the university. It's right here in their backyard and you know, we're willing and able to help at a moment's notice.